Hey guys, I am now doing my review on Chronicle. Saw this movie a few weeks ago. And basically it is about three high school students that get superpowers. Well, they're not really superpowers, but you know, they're able to control things with their minds and they learn to control the powers and they just sort of go different paths with it. I will not be spoiling anything, so if you have not seen the movie, you can still feel free to listen to this review. The movie stars Dane DeHaan, Alex Russell, Michael B. Jordan, Michael Kelly, Ashley Henshaw, and Bo Peterson. And it is directed by Josh Trank. Um, I really like this movie overall. I did think that it was a little bit short at a running time of an hour and 23 minutes. But, you know, it was a big box office success and big cri critical success, so... You know, they definitely made a lot more money because I think they had a $15 million budget. So it made a total of $63.2 million as of right now. Probably get a little bit higher, but not that much at this point because it came out in uh, February. But overall, I did really like the movie. Some people I saw it with didn't like it quite as much as I did. Now, I do know that it did have some problems with it, but... I really liked how they developed the characters because they made you care about them. But, you know, there was a little bit that made me mad in the movie watching it. But overall, I thought the movie was, it was really interesting. And, of course, it is a found footage movie, which, you know, a lot of them are coming up now. Started with Blair Witch Project, obviously, in the 90s. But, I mean, Cloverfield, I think, sort of, relived it here in America. I know they tried stuff before that, but that sort of, you know, made it popular again. I know I know REC the series is really popular, but I'm talking about like American series here. But um I mean this really was a really inventive way of using that concept of the found footage. Uh there were parts where the camera was sort of shaking. One of my main problems with it though is how they use the camera because this main character, Andrew, was holding the camera pretty much the whole time. The movie was a lot darker than I thought it was going to be, and it's, that sort of brings him to film everything from now on, some of the issues going on in his life. But, I mean, and then it would switch from camera to camera, and there was the main girl in the movie, I just didn't get because she was always filming too. She said it was for her blog, but literally everywhere she went, she was filming. And I don't really know anybody that does that. Just leaves the camera rolling their whole lives like that. And they gave the backstory on Andrew on how it happened. But for this girl, I mean, her name was Casey in the movie. She just, uh, she was just always holding the camera. And I didn't get that. Um, then, of course, it switches between news cameras, police cameras, and even people holding up cell phones at certain points. And that works out good. I get that, because that was, that was the best part of the movie, because you can tell from the trailers that they go in different directions, and everything just comes to this head at the end for the final battle, and when I saw it, I immediately thought of Superman 2, when they're, when he's fighting the other super-powered guys, and they're throwing cars and everything, I thought of that only, instead of the super-strength, they had these powers with their mind, and I thought the coolest part about that was how they switched from camera to camera. But there was this one scene where in the movie where this guy takes all these cell phones and just has them floating around him like that. And I really can't think of a, a reason he would do that in that situation other than they just he just wants to have all these camera angles for the movie. Like I really didn't get how they did that. Like they could have explained better why he always needs to be on these cell phone cameras. I don't, you know, they didn't explain that. I thought that was kind of weird. But it does sort of grays into the cinematic camera especially towards the end because towards the beginning he starts lifting the camera with his powers to make it look sort of cinematic at parts and at the end it's like that and then with all the cameras switching you know just making a really cool final battle sequence i think made the movie because the movie before that is slow paced you're just with them and they're just having fun at first learning these powers and doing stupid things which i know if i had those powers i would just be doing stupid things like they were I wouldn't be worrying about going and saving the world from all these crazy things like in other superhero movies. It was realistic in that perspective, just because there were three friends just screwing around. 
Now, of course, the Andrew, the main character, he's sort of the... He gets picked on at school, and they think he's sort of the loser at the school, but he has a lot of problems at his house, too. And Matt, his cousin, is one of the other three main characters, and he is, you know, he's pretty popular in school, but he's sort of the neutral character. He's, like, right down the middle, good guy. And then there's Michael B. Jordan, who plays Steve Montgomery, and he's basically running for class president. He's the popular kid in school, and... They really, Michael B. Jordan, or Steve Montgomery, he really just uh, meets Andrew through Matt, but sort of gets close to him from this uh, powers they have. And I don't, but they really tied that in well on how, you know, he's his friend because they have these powers. This is how they met. This tied them together. And they had a lot of fun, but then it gets really serious at times too and gets sad. But, you know, there is a lot of humor in it, so... Overall, I thought the movie, you know, I I thought it was really good. I mean, they could have did a better job with it. There was a lot of hype coming into this movie. I was really excited to it, so it might have been a little bit of a letdown. I think it sort of uh, uh, backed off on the end a little bit. But, I mean, overall, I thought it was pretty good. So if I had to rate it, I'd probably give it a a 3.5 out of 5. So, yeah, thank you. And please subscribe to my channel to see my movie reviews and I'll have a uh, weekly news show basically I'm going to wrap up all the movie news from the week that'll be on Saturdays on Sundays I'll do a box office cap for the weekend and tell you basically what movies are coming out that week and DVD releases so subscribe to my YouTube channel and I have a page on Facebook Summit Studios 2k so like that and I'll see you soon